What's up everyone? So today I'm going to show you how to get your V-Roy model into Clip Studio. So first thing you want to do is make sure that your textures for the base color and the shade color is white and that you didn't actually change it to make the colors whatever you want it to be. And this is how it's supposed to show up on your model. Like if you change it to yellow, it's not going to show up in Clip Studio at all. It's going to show up whatever your texture color is. And that goes for the hair editor too. Uh, for the textures, when you actually look at the material and stuff, the base color, as long as it's white and shade color is white, it should be good. Um, I will give you an example of what it does though. And we'll give an example using her ears. So if you look with her, the inside of her ears, I changed the base color and I'm going to show you what it does with this glitch in uh, Clip Studio. Alright, so in the camera exporter, when you go to export your model, it's best to have the polygon count a bit down and the you don't have a lot of bones in your model. Um, so this model, she's able to get in there pretty well and this is her polygon counts, materials, bones. So she has no problem going in and out. I, as long as it doesn't have like a, a ton of bones, even with all this, this might even be considered excessive and if you want to try to lower it, you can go and delete transparent meshes. Um, I wouldn't recommend using combined hair mesh. It basically takes all your hair and combines it into one. And I don't really like to do that, especially if you have a model like her where you need to connect certain things to certain body parts using Unity. But I'm not going to show that today. That's in another video. And I'll link that in the description below. So after you export your model, things like that, got all that information. I already have her exported and everything attached in Unity the way it's supposed to with this model. first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you download these, the CATS plugin. I'll have all these in the description below. So you can go to CATS plugin just right here. That's usually whenever you go to anything that involves GitHub. You just go down a little bit past this and it says download here. Or like this one, this is another one we need VRM add-on to actually import the model into Blender. And if you're new to Blender, we're going to go through all the steps on how to get this through to, from um, Blender to Unity and then to Clip Studio. So you can be a complete newbie with this. So. And this we're going to also need Uni VRM and Blender. Uh, you can go and I'll link both these descriptions for Blender below. So this one's for the newest version of Blender that they have. And this one's for previous ones. The current version I'll be using for this tutorial is 2.93.2 uh, for Windows. Right. So in, uh, once you open up Blender, just go to General. And in the middle, if you don't know what I said or were confused, just look in the middle and it'll show what I did. This is for left mouse button, right, middle and it'll tell what I actually pressed. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is actually delete default cube. So, and we're gonna add it on all of our add-ons. So when you go add-ons, install, And we're going to install the CATS plugin. 
and the VRM add-on for Blender release. Okay. And then when you actually, after you install it, you can make sure that it's installed by just clicking this and make sure that you have a little check mark next to it. And just check for cats and check for the little check mark. <coughs> Alright, so then after you're done with that, you're all done for that. And we're going to open up the cats real quick. And now we're going to import our model. And for your model, Make sure you don't do the HANA tool one. Um, I haven't confirmed it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's the HANA tool that messed up when I tried to import my Chelsea model earlier into Clip Studio. And I'll show you what happened with it, what um, Clip Studio did to her. So with uh, Clip Studio Modeler, I'm also going to show you how to add accessories. So we're going to actually, so also she's gray, so you can actually just hit this little button to add all of her textures just so they show up. All right. So one of the things we're going to end up doing, do this before you do the next step that I'm going to tell you how to do. Actually, she's, there it is. So, the thing we're going to add on her is her sword. So, what we're going to do is, let's see, make sure. There we go. So we're going to keep the sheath and we're going to actually unlink her sword. So just right click and then unlink. So you can see her sheath is still there. And we're going to now fix her model. So now that her model is fixed, we're going to export her model as an FBX. You can also do the blend file because we're going to import this into Unity. So some people have issues with the F FBX. Uh, I'm just giving you a heads up. Um, I haven't had really any issues for, with FBX and it's literally the same exact process of taking the FBX into Unity. So export. And then you just name it whatever you want. I already have her into Unity. So, and for the blend file, you're just going to go and save as whatever you want to save it as. And you'll do the exact same thing we're going to do with her FBX. So, I already have it saved. Alright, and then now we're just going to. First, we're going to actually get her sword back. So, we're going to do a new one. So, file, import. And we're basically going to do the exact same thing uh, with her sword that we did with her. Except we're not going to go and click fix model 
we're just going to unlink all of her stuff except for her sword. So we're going to go and this and shift and we're going to right click and then unlink. So on this. Uh, look for her sword. It should be these three. I'm just going to hide them real quick so I know which one they are when I'm actually highlighting everything. So just press A to select everything. And then control to unselect these three. Come on, or not. All right, so we're just gonna do this the hard way. It's not wanting to cooperate, so. On link. Link. And then take up the rest. On link. So now that's all left is her actual sword. Okay, so now we're just going to go. You can't go and use the cat's plugin for this one because it doesn't have any s bones in it. So it's not going to read it. So we're going to actually do this the blender way and you can either do it as FBX or do it as OBJ file. Just export it. All right. So next thing we're going to do, and you can save this if you want to also as a blend file instead of OBJ or FBX and then just move it into Unity like you would do with a FBX or OBJ. But I'm not going to do that. All right, so now in Unity, which I'll also have the link in the description below, just this is the version I'm using. So we're going to need uni vrm so what you do is basically on this you just drag it in and i already have this in here so it will just show up and i already have everything important imported on it see nothing to import so basically when it shows up it will have like a little import button so whatever it shows up just press like okay 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 so first thing we're going to do now that we got all of our add-ons into unity we're going to take our fbx or you can take your blend file and just move it into this i'll i'll do the blend file with this and do the fbx with the source this way you can just see what it looks like it's basically exactly the same thing. All right, so now that we got our blend file into Unity, first thing we're going to do is just go on Model, and we're going to uncheck Cameras, Lights, definitely uncheck Wheeled Vertices, and make sure to check Legacy Shape Normal. So even if we're not doing this for clip studio and you just wanted to get from blender to unity 
make sure this is checked this is unchecked because otherwise it's going to mess up your blend shapes even though with clip studio the blend, blend shapes that's not gonna they don't work in clip studio as far as i'm aware so next step is on rig go to humanoid materials and we're going to go and what you're going to want to do next is import your Vroy model, your original model that had all the textures that you imported into Blender. I already have it imported into Unity, so, so make sure you're clicked on your regular Blender file or FBX and then in this little part, just go in under your Vroy models file. Let's go to the materials and then just start inputting the materials. Most of them are in order with the name. Uh, the only one that's out of order is the face skin. So click apply after you're done doing all that. So now that it's applied, go back to rig and you're going to hit configure. So go to head and on the jaw, just click delete. The Vroy models, they don't have a jaw and so it automatically tries to link a hair joint that's why everything else should be in order but if you want to double check you can make sure that they match exactly how they're supposed to like head with head so and then click apply All right, so after it's done and you clicked apply you just click done and your model should be good just drag it to the scene and on main camera and di directional light just delete so just gonna do alright so next one we're going to do is we're going to bring in the sword and this one's the FBX so just drag and drop um, so FBX tends to go in a bit faster than a blend file does, but this one came in really fast because it's not, it has no armature attached to it, it's just three materials. So do exactly what we did last time in this part. You don't, don't do humanoid because this thing is not humanoid, it's just a sword. And now we're just going to go and add the materials. And we can get that directly from the original Vroy file like we did with the other one. So just click over here. And do this. And just click apply. There you go. So now we got the sword. It's all good. Go back to where it is and we're going to just drag and drop so now we're going to go and activate the FBX exporter so when this first appears you're most likely going to have to click advanced and then just look for FBX exporter and the with you it should say install and you just click that I already have it installed so it I don't have to do that and then just exit after it's done so next thing we're going to do we're just going to right click and then export to FBX choose where you want to save it don't save it in Unity Unity will slow down and we're not needing this in unity also unity tends to 
mess up files sometimes if it's inside it. So it's always best to have a copy of whatever file that is in Unity outside of Unity. and then just export and on the sword we're going to do the exact same thing export to FBX choose where we want to actually save it outside of Unity and export and there you go, you should be done with Unity for this part portion of the tutorial. And next we're going to go into Modeler. Alright, so now that we have Clip Studio open, we're going to go to Modeler. I'll have in the description below a link to download Modeler. So when you go in here, go on 3D character, create 3D character. Next, you're going to want to go to Body and then add from file and you're going to choose the clip studio file you just created for that was the FBX from unity we'll add in the sword after we sync the armature to clip studio's version now that we got our model in Clip Studio Modeler. Just gonna give you a quick uh, tutorial on how to use the camera. So, camera distance, left click, move the mouse up, you go further back. Move it down, you go closer. The position, left click, left, right with the mouse. Camera orientation, left click, and you get to basically spin your model. Okay, so now we're gonna go and finish our model real quick. So first thing, model, and let's go a little bit closer to her. Move it over. And we're gonna take a quick selfie for her little thumbnail. And then go to the bone. Okay. So we're about to map the skeleton to Clip Studio's version. So you can actually pose the model inside Clip Studio. So this is just mapping it to it. Make sure everything's the way it's supposed to be. So I know some people might recommend moving the arm down a little bit to match it better. Um, I haven't had any trouble usually with Clip Studio models, so I just keep it up all the way. Now we're just going to map the head to see how to uh, match this. And when it matches, it'll show exactly how this shows. So, left arm, oh, right arm, sorry. Now the left arm. And you don't need to actually click on. A particular body part of it it could be any part of that leg like upper leg le lower leg foot whatever so next we're just going to go and check a couple poses to make sure it mapped correctly and it looks good all right now just press complete and we'll add our sword. Alright, so now that we're back, go to accessories and then add from file. And getting the sword that we finish in Unity. Alright, so now we're going to go and move the sword where it should be. And this part really sucks. 
Try to get on the circle parts. It's much easier to move. When in vice, trying to move the arrows. They do not move at all like they do in Blender or most programs. So you're going to want to make sure, um, first of all, you actually attach it to the hand. We're just going to add another one, the same exact one. Alright, so now that we got the second one in there, this one's going to be for the back. So we're going to attach it to the spine. And we're going to try to make sure that it actually matches in with her sheath on her back. Now that we got them uh, attached to the right body parts, and it's not saying that this is going to be perfect when you actually save it, you can always go back um, and actually rotate it a little bit more to fit more perfectly to the attached body parts so this is actually saving this into the actual modeler this isn't going into paint So we're going to register material and we'll change the little thumbnail later. So just Kitsune tutorial perfect. You can save it wherever you want. Favorites 3D and you can also add some tags like 3D Kitsune to make it easier to find. So as you can see in the model, what I was talking about earlier with the having the shades and base color to be white and not try to use it to change the color. Earlier you saw that her inside of her ears were had a darker color and now they're matching in with the back color of her ears. Um, that's exactly what happens. Um, most of the time you'll s see it show up as whatever hair strand you had as white because most people they don't change the default texture and they will just go and change the base color of it. So they'll like throw their model in here and they'll have white hair and wondering why it did that. Well, that's why it did that. It can't process the shaders and base color as, as far as I'm aware. So if you ever got that glitch, that's why you got that glitch. Okay, so now that we have it saved, we can actually go check it out in Clip Studio Paint. So, all right. So now that Clip Studio Paint's open, let's go and just do a new one. 
just to show you an example of what she looks like. And just bring her in. Okay, now that our model has loaded into Clip Studio Paint, you'll notice right away she kind of looks a bit different. Well, that's because it's the outline. So in the tool property, and if this one's not showing up right away, just go window and then tool property. So just go all the way down. Uncheck that. There you go. Now she's back. And have her clutching the sword. So as you can see, she has two swords and if you want to have her have no swords or just one sword, so we'll just do this. This is the second one that's on her back and you can see that one disappeared and it looks like she only has one sword now. If you want to do it the opposite way. where she only has the one sword on the back then you can do it that way or you can even do it with no swords yeah, there you go and you can with these models you can actually just take any of these poses you can just drag and drop for the, any of the poses. See? And she'll automatically go into that pose. No problem. Uh, one thing that does help um, with when it goes comes to the PC version with the models is unchecking this because while it's checked, it usually goes a bit slower from what I've noticed. Um, one more thing about the models is you can go and send them to other devices too. I'll show you how to do that at the end of this. Uh, and as promised, I'm going to show you what happened to what happened to Chelsea. Clip Studio mutilated her. So there's Chelsea. <laughs> uh, Clip Studio kind of um, beheaded her, ironically. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is because uh, with her, I put the only difference between her and the other model. She has the HANA tool directly on her. The other one. Yes, she does have over 52 blend sheets, but I transferred the Honda tool in a different way. I transferred it through Blender. And so, yeah, if you have a model that basically used Honda tool, it might end up having no head. So, let's delete her. But yeah, so now I'm just going to show you real quick on how to actually send your model to another device. So in the regular Clip Studio, we'll go on the Manage Materials and on Kitsune tutorial. We'll just switch that on. I just I like to heart my stuff because it makes it easier to find. And sync now. You'll know how far it is over here. Alright, cool. So now that it's completed, it's uploaded directly to the cloud. 
And when you're on your other device, like an iPad or something, you just go to the cloud. And you just click on your model and just hit the download. All the ones that you do ha already have, it'll show a little orange cloud. The ones that you don't have, it'll show a little blue cloud. So once you download it, and if you already have it in there, it'll overwrite it with whatever the cloud has. So, yep. And if you're wanting to actually find more, more poses, you can go to Clip Studio Assets. And Clip Studio Assets, it has a lot of free brushes, free poses that you can use. You just type in pose. And here's already a bunch of free ones you just can download real quick. We'll just get this falling pose. And all you do is just hit the download button. And as you see, it already downloaded it. And then when you go back to Clip Studio Paint, just go all the way down to download, and there's the pose. Yep. There you go. And you just drag and drop when you're on top of the layer. So, yeah. And that's how you actually do models going from Vroy to Clip Studio. Um, I hope you guys uh, learned something from this tutorial and if you did and you enjoyed it, like, subscribe. Um, down below if you ever need to go back to this tutorial I'll have uh, different timestamps um, telling which part of the tutorial teaches what part and all the links to download all the stuff that is required in this tutorial is down in the description below and i hope you guys have an awesome week bye